Okay, so now you look at question 5, which is similar to just now those two questions. Okay, like what I said, it's more similar to question 4 because they are asking for the total number of the packets or the pieces here in this case, or, I mean not or, and for part B, they are asking for the remaining. Okay, so our total in terms of the ribbon, it's 8M long, which now it will be cut into pieces with each piece being 3M, 3, 3 out of 4M, okay? So the same thing, you have a total, you're going to cut them. The operation that you need to do will have to be divide, alright? So we take the 8 to divide by 3 out of 4, okay? That's what you learned today. Division of fraction, okay? All whole number come with a denominator of 1. And then remember our keep change flip. So keep for the first fraction here that you're saying. Change the divide to times. And of course the last one over here we flip our divisor. 3 out of 4 will become 4 out of 3. Okay. In this case over here, you can't do cancellation. So you just directly apply numerator times numerator. Denominator times denominator. Okay, you get an improper fraction. So, we can't leave our answer as improper. We change it to mixed number. So, this mixed number of 10 and 2 thirds, you're not going to say that in terms of the pieces here, you're not going to tell us that we have 10 and 2 thirds pieces like that, right? If we want pieces, it should always be in whole number. So the whole number here, should we go up or should we go down? Alright, of course the full piece work, right? You get the down one which is the 10. So, in terms of pieces, we have 10 pieces only. Okay, so part A, answer is 10. For part B, they are asking for the remaining length of the ribbon. Okay. We only count the pieces in terms of when they are all at 3 out of 4M. Okay. So, we cut 3 out of 4, 3 out of 4, 3 out of 4. So, there's a balance there which is not the 3 out of 4. Okay. So, you can't just simply leave 2 out of 3 as the answer. As the previous questions, I prove it to you. 2 out of 3 definitely, you cannot happily leave it as the remainder. These 2 out of 3 represent 2 out of 3 of whatever you cut. Okay, but for this question, I will still show by the two methods. Okay, our method one is the easier method. Okay, where we find first the total length of the ribbon, the total length of the pieces that we have. So remember, we have 10 pieces of the ribbon and each of them is 3 out of 4. So applying the multiplication directly with cancellation, okay, you will get 15 out of 2. Okay, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. And again, you get improper, right? We change it to mixed number, 7.5. So this is the total length of the cut, right? So to get our remaining, we take our total length of the ribbon minus whatever that has been cut into pieces, okay? The remaining here should just be half. So it's half a meter, okay? But of course, this is the easier understanding, right? Where we, we find the total length of the cut, then we use our total ribbon at first to minus away what we have cut. Okay, so the other one, if we use it, it's kind of like a shortcut, right? But it needs you to understand that for this one here, the two-third, the fraction, this two-third is of the piece, the length of the piece that we cut into. So of in mathematics is times. So we take two-third times the 3 out of 4, okay, and if you go and do the cancellation for this, 
you directly you can see that you get the half here as well for the answer. Alright, just remember when you write it down, because it's remaining length of the cloth, you need the measurement unit. For the pieces, there's no measurement unit, so that's why you don't need the M fan. Okay?